This is the Project Gemini Update, your source for all things Project Gemini. Brought to you by Riffical Records. And here's your host, Mark Anthony Kay. Greetings, friends, and welcome to episode 142 of the Project Gemini Update. Today, we have a very interesting episode for you. Uh, the first part of this episode, I'm sure you were probably expecting. Second part, maybe not. Well, probably not at all. Uh, so the first part of this uh, episode is going to be me showing you the album cover, finally, uh, the, the actual physical product uh, now that I've received it. So here is the album cover. Sorry, let me just get this here properly. So the album covers came in yesterday. I made a post on my Facebook group. They turned out absolutely fantastic. Of course, you know, these cameras, and they, they never do them completely justice. Uh, there's always glares or something, but I think it looks incredible when i looked at it i i was just staring at it for you know an hour yesterday just enjoying the the detail of it uh the back fantastic the back is different than the cd release and uh, this is one of the things that i enjoy doing sorry i got an itch one of the things i enjoy doing is giving these sort of variations between the cd and the vinyl versions of the records uh mr jason Pollan did a absolutely fantastic job with this everything in it turned out great even the spine looks nice i don't know if you can it can never show this properly but everything is there all the details are there so yeah so these came in um i'm about i signed about 35 now so i'm getting there they'll be done by the end of the weekend they'll be back at train records and then uh They'll be ready to just wait for the vinyl, shrink wrap it, and guess what? We're done. Now, just a reminder, when you get this record inside, they will come with these fantastic posters that I got done this time. The quality is just top, top notch. I'm so happy with the way these came out. This beautiful paper, nice thick stock. So it, it turned out really nicely. Uh, the, the consensus vote was not to sign them, and I'm fine with that. Uh, there's probably nowhere really to sign them on there. And, and frankly, I think signing them might ruin the kind of look of it because it looks fantastic like that. Uh, and also, you'll be getting the infamous download card. I love how this card turned out. Again, this can double as an excellent bookmark and even a very good ruler for you young kids out there. Uh, again, the, <coughs> excuse me, the code is right above the mod wheel here uh, the music isn't up there still yet once I once I put those back to train records the covers I mean the finished sign ones I will then upload the songs to the page and it will be available then so uh, I'm, I'm waiting off on uploading that until the last sort of minute okay so there you go that's the album covers I'm very, 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 very happy with them, as you can tell. And uh, I think it's going to be one of my best releases for sure. It just turned out so good. The posters turned out good. The card turned out good. Uh, I even have the hype stickers available. Uh, I didn't bring them upstairs. Shit, I should have brought them up. But you know what? Next, The next update, I'll show you the hype stickers. I mean, they're hype stickers, so it's not something urgently important to show, but... I'll show them to you on the next update. Now, the other part of this video that I wanted to talk to you guys about was something that's been kind of, uh, I talked about a little bit on the page and uh, it's given me an idea. As you know, in 2016, uh, An Ordinary Day was released, the first album. Now, technically I've been working on that record since 2015, but since it was released technically in 2016, it is now in its five year anniversary of its release yeah i know it's not like a 40th anniversary but still it's a moment 
that I'd like to somehow, you know, uh, celebrate. Let's just put it that way. <clears throat> so I was thinking about doing a short little video segment about the making of the record, but then I had one better idea. This year, uh, there's going to be two record drops for Record Store Day this year. And they're going to be in the summertime. They're not going to do it in April. They're going to be doing it like in June or something like that or July. So it's a bit away. But I thought since it's, it'll give me some decent time, I was thinking about doing one of those fantastic lace cut records. Now, every time I've done these lace cut records, everybody says that they're absolutely fantastic sounding, that they're almost like Bofi one steps, that they love how they turn out. So I was thinking to myself, since a lot of you out there have been asking if there's ever going to be a repress of an Ordinary Day done again. I don't know if it's worth doing another 100 copies of Ordinary Day. Maybe it is. I don't know. But since I know that there'll be some people who will want to buy a copy, I thought, why not do a lace version of it? But not just any <clears throat> kind of one. I will either do a remix of the record, which some people might go, eh, no, no, don't do that. So maybe I won't do that. But I'll definitely do a remaster of it, now that I've, my mastering skills have been double or tripled better since I did that record. Uh, so I'll either do a remix or a remaster, or both, a remix and remaster, of the actual record. I will also make this a sort of specialty release. I'll, make the, I'll keep the album cover, maybe do a modification of the back cover, make it a little bit more smazzy razzy, and I'll include the original poster, <clears throat> excuse me, the original poster will come with it. I will give you some special things, like I will include replications of my journal notes. I showed some of those in, my, in the uh, Facebook group. So I'll make some, take some of the critical uh, pages from my journal and include it to you in there. I'll also make a special two-page booklet that'll talk about some of the processes, what I used, so on and so forth, some deep dive into the making of the record and uh, stu you know stuff like that. I'll include a special Project Gemini pin. I've had these before. I actually have one right here. Uh, I had given some of them away. They were giveaway things, but I found that they were sometimes difficult to put in mailers. They sometimes scratched up stuff, so I'll find a good way to wrap these things up, but I have some fantastic Project Gemini pins that I can include with it as well. <clears throat> yeah, and I'll think of maybe one other thing, but I'll turn it into a really kind of deluxe version of the album. And since a few people gave me a good idea, I think it was actually uh, Brent. Brent gave me the idea that next time I make these kind of records to take the vinyl out and separate it since it's not a sh shrunk wrapped album. But since it's going to be a 12 inch, I won't have that same issue. But in any case, what I'm going to end up doing is I'll buy separate outer sleeves and I'll pack them really well. So you won't have any issues with anything getting split, no seam splits or nothing like that. So in other words, to make a long story short, I want to make a fifth anniversary deluxe release lace cut of an ordinary day. Now, please message me on the group page or even here. And let me know if you guys are cool with that. If you are cool with that, then I will go ahead and do it. If there's no interest in it, then I just won't do it. And I'll just make a video and talk about it. But I think there's quite a lot of you who would be interested in this. I know a lot of people are asking about this record and to have a lathe cut version of it might be a really cool thing to have in your collection. Okay, so think about that and please message me about that. And I'll leave it at this for our video. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you all for your support. Don't forget, you can still buy the record. All the records come with the posters. There's no 50 and that's it with posters. Every album gets a poster. This is a great album to get. Guest musicians are on here. You know, Billy Sherwood's on here. Lee Pomeroy's on here. Joe Bailey appears again singing and playing bass. And David Donnelly plays some fantastic bass on this as well. So it's really a great record to get. And uh, yeah, I, I highly recommend it. Uh, book one is still available at 20 bucks, which is a deal. And Man of Science, Man of Dreams is still available. There's a few a few more copies left. I'm not sure how much is left. Uh, probably more than 10, but it's getting close to being really low. So, and that's available for $15, folks. 15 bucks Canadian plus shipping. So that's a steal. 
especially for American people and in the UK and in Europe as well. So take a look at the Bandcamp site and uh, you'll find all the information there. Again, thank you so much for all your support and I will talk to you all very soon. Bye for now.